In this video, I'll demonstrate how to set up a secure cloud path onboarding wireless LAN using the Ruckus Cloud dashboard, and demonstrate a client logging into a secure cloud path certificate based wireless LAN. As a note, prior to configuring a cloud path onboarding wireless LAN, you need to have a cloud path account and be familiar with its onboarding tool. We have separate training on our Ruckus Training Learning Management website, or you can attend an instructor led class to obtain this information. Before configuring the private secure CloudPath wireless LAN, you'll need to obtain the following information. For the security tab, you'll need the CloudPath primary radius server IP address, the authentication port number, and the shared secret. These are found on your CloudPath portal under the configuration tab radius server. You'll notice that the IP address is in text, so you'll need to resolve this name to its associated IP address. You can do this by pinging the name, in our example, training.cloudpath.net, and it will resolve the IP address. Another piece of information you'll need to know is the CloudPath Wireless LAN enrollment URL. This will tell the Ruckus Cloud Portal to send the client that is connecting to this CloudPath network wireless LAN we are creating to direct the client to the CloudPath ES server for processing the workflow. This URL can be obtained by going to the CloudPath ES Configuration tab under the Workflow, Advanced tab. You'll cut and paste this into the Onboarding Network Captive Portal URL location. When you get ready to configure a Ruckus Cloud Wi-Fi SSID that will be used by a client using the CloudPath certificate, these SSIDs must be the same in both your CloudPath ES configurations and your Ruckus Cloud Wi-Fi configuration. So from our Ruckus Cloud dashboard, I'm going to go in and now set up a CloudPath network. So I'll go to Networks, and I'll select Plus New Networks. And I'm going to give this the name of CloudPath Demo 1. So I'll give it the name of CloudPath Demo 1. Under Organization, I'm going to select CloudPath. And it says use an authentication server and CloudPath onboarding to authenticate the users. So that's what I want to do. I'm going to click Next to go to the onboarding portal. And here, I'm going to have to put in a primary radius server, my IP address, a port number, a shared secret, onboarding network, SSID, and a captive portal URL. Now, in order to get this IP address, and to get this port number, and to get the shared secret, I have to go to my CloudPath ES server. So I have another tab open to my CloudPath ES. And under the RADIS server, you'll see that my IP address is training.cloudpath.net. I have an authentication port of 12257 and an accounting port of 12258 and a shared secret. So I'm going to put in this shared secret. I'll click on that magnifying glass. I can copy and paste that shared secret. I'll go back to my Ruckus Cloud. My shared secret I could put in here. Now in order to get this IP address, I have to resolve the name, the DNS name that I had on my CloudPath server. So if I go back to that CloudPath server, here it was training.cloudpath.net. So I'll bring up a command window and translate that DNS name into an IP address. So I'm going to ping my training cloudpath.net and you'll see it gives me an address of 72.18.151.76 so I'm going to put in that IP address and I'll put in the port number I've got my shared secret in there now you notice here that it says the onboarding network SSID so CloudPath Demo 1 will be my onboarding SSID, and that'll be the network that I need to connect to first in order to download the certificate to my PC. Another thing that we have here is a captive portal URL. So I have to go back to my ES server to get that. So I'll go back to the ES server, and under my workflows, if I go to Advanced, you'll see that this is my enrollment portal URL. So I'm going to copy that, go back to my Ruckus Cloud, and I'm going to paste that captive portal URL into here. Okay, so we've done that. So we've got our IP address resolved, and we've got my shared secret that I cut and paste in. So that's the shared secret. 
So then we go to Next, and I have to select the venue, so I'm going to put this onto my Awani Arts. So I'll turn that on, and go to Next, and you'll see under Network Summary that my name is CloudPath Demo 1, the SSID is CloudPath Demo 1, but you'll see that the onboarding SSID is CloudPath Demo 1 onboarding. Under the Advanced setting, this is just where I would designate which VLAN ID, and if I had an onboarding VLAN ID that was separate, I could do that. I could also set my maximum clients per radio and things like that. I'm going to keep that the default, and I'm going to hit Create. And this will then go ahead and create the network. I mean, that's going to take a little while to do that. And then after about 30 seconds or so, it'll say Activating the Network on the Venue Awani Arts. It'll show back up into the network menu, and now we have our CloudPath Demo 1. We don't have a description. I'd have to go in and edit that to add the description to it. So if I want to give it a description, I can click on that network under Edit. I'll add a description in there of CloudPath Demo 1, and I'll go ahead and save that. And it'll go ahead then and update the network. So now that we've updated the network, I'll go ahead and click on Networks again. And now we see that we have CloudPath Demo 1, and we also have a description of CloudPath Demo 1. So my next step then is to put on my client hat and to log in to the onboarding portal. So what I would do is go down to my wireless LANs. And you'll see now that I have a CloudPath Demo 1 and a CloudPath Demo 1 onboarding. So I'm going to select the onboarding SSID, and I'm going to connect to that. And now I'll have to open up another tab so I can get redirected to that. And this will redirect me to the enrollment URL on my CloudPath ES server. Now it brings up a splash page saying, Welcome to the Ruckus Wireless Network. Access to the Ruckus Wireless Network is restricted to authorized users and requires acceptance of the terms and conditions below. Once authorized for access, your device will be configured with a unique certificate for network services. So I'm going to agree to these terms. I'm going to hit start. It's going to go through and process. So it has now authenticated me and saying I'm a valid user. So now what I'm going to do is to download the network wizard for my Windows client PC. So I'm going to select Download for Windows. It's going to save the network loader, so I'll save that. And that's going to take a little while to download, so I'm going to open that up. And it'll ask me to run it. Do you want to run this file? Yes. So I'm going to select Run. And now it's going to download the configuration. It's loading the initial configuration, migrating to the secure network. And now it says that we're successfully connected. When I click Done, then I should be able to log on and use the browser. What I want to show you now is if you go back to your networks, you'll notice that now it's connecting to the CloudPath demo. So we use the CloudPath onboarding SSID. Now we're connecting on the CloudPath demo. And it does that automatically. Now if I go to another tab, you can see that I have access to the network. And I could go ahead and go ahead and browse the network. So this is how we use the Ruckus Cloud Portal to create a CloudPath secure wireless LAN network. First, we configured a secure CloudPath network on the Ruckus Cloud Portal using the secure parameters from the CloudPath ES server. Then we connected our client device to the onboarding SSID and downloaded the network wizard, which installed a CloudPath certificate on our client. Then the client automatically connected to the CloudPath SSID and securely accessed the wireless LAN using the CloudPath certificate. From now on, every time this client logs onto the CloudPath Secure SSID, it will automatically be securely connected to the wireless LAN using a CloudPath certificate.